It's time for Orchard Skills. One of the best features of the Orchard Core framework is that it enables a modularity approach to software development. Modularity allows a software component to be isolated so that it can be adapted by an application or other components. This modularity environment allows different teams to work on separate parts of an application and make components reusable across projects. Today on Orchard Skills, we'll be creating an Orchard Core CMS module. In a previous video, we we created a Raspberry Pi IoT Internet of Things relay. We will be refactoring this existing application in order to implement modularity. Please stay with us and we'll get started. <music> Welcome back. In order to refactor our existing application, we will need to clone the GitHub repository. With your favorite browser, head over to github.com slash orchard skills slash orchard skills dot orchard core dot raspberry pi IOT relay. Let's click on the green code button and click on open with GitHub desktop and then click on the open GitHub desktop dot exe button. All right, let's click on the blue clone button. And there we go. We cloned the Raspberry Pi IoT Relay repository. Let's launch Visual Studio and load the solution for the Raspberry Pi IoT Internet of Things Relay. Okay, great. So the first thing we want to do is create a Orchard Core CMS module. So let's click on the solution and hit right click and then go to open in terminal. And you'll see down here, it will open up a terminal to your directory where your application is located. Let's go to the Orchard Core documentation, guide us on how to create an Orchard Core CMS module. With your favorite browser, let's head over to docs.orchardcore.net. If you search for the code generation templates, you can find this page. I will place a link in the online documentation. In order to use the code generation templates, you need to install them. And to do that here, there are two methods, as you can see here. And the first method is for the RC2 version, which is the release version. And the second method here is the dev branch version. For this video, we'll be utilizing the dev branch version here. So you'll do a .NET new dash I orchard core dot project templates colon colon and this whole URL down here, which is pointing to the dev branch. I showed how to do this in a previous video and I will put a link in the online documentation. After installing the Orchard CMS templates, on the right hand side, click the link create a new CMS module. And here is detailed information on how to create an Orchard Core CMS module. And if we scroll down here, we can use the command .NET new OC module CMS dash N and then the module name. So let's go ahead and copy that. Head on over to Visual Studio and in here we'll right click and then let's specify a name and we will specify orchard skills orchard core dot raspberry pi and then just hit enter and there we go our scaffolding for the orchard core cms module has been created so now if we right click on the solution head down to add existing project and click on orchard skills at orchard core dot raspberry pi you'll see that the cs proj file for that click on that and then click on open. And now that's been included into your solution. So now one thing you want to do right away is click on our dependencies and then right click and say add project reference. We want to add this reference to the application project and then hit OK. Let's click on the orchardskills.orchardcore.raspberrypi project and let's add a reference to system.device.gpio nuget package. OK, great. Let's save that. In refactoring the code, what we want to do is put all the functionality for the devices inside of the Orchard Core Raspberry Pi CMS module. So let's just take the device directory and just move it up to the Orchard Skills at Orchard Core Raspberry Pi CMS module. I'll click in devices and let's rename this device. Instead of LE device, let's call it relay device and it's asking us, you are renaming a file, would you also like to perform a rename in the project for all the references to the code element LED device? And let's say yes. Okay, great. So another thing we'll need is a underscore view imports. So if we go click on here, let's copy this and put this under the views here. So then go paste 
and paste that there. And in the views, we won't need the menu and we won't need the tag helper for the menu either. So we'll delete that. Okay, we'll save that. Now let's go down to the startup in the theme and let's delete this because we're not gonna need the devices here anymore. And let's cut this out and go ahead and save that. And let's go to the startup here and in the configure services, let's go ahead and add that. Here we renamed this to relay device and here it's not called service collection, it's just called services. Okay, great. And if we go here, let's take this namespace here Copy that, go back to the startup, and let's do a using uh, the devices there. Okay, great. So now let's go back to our relay services and let's rename, refactor this, and we will call this relay supported. And we'll just click on all these and do apply and then do apply. And those got refactored. And let's refactor property is LED supported. And do a rename here, click on all of that. And we'll call this is relay supported. And click apply and then apply. Okay, great. And then here, let's rename this guy is LED on. Let's rename this property and click on all of these checkboxes. And we'll say is relay on and hit apply and apply. And then let's factor this LED on, rename, include all these checkboxes. And let's click on relay on, apply. Okay, down here, let's refactor this and rename this. Click on this and click on relay off and hit apply and apply. Okay, it looks like we've got everything refactored. Now let's go to our controller here. What we want to do is take the code from the theme controller and add it here. So we'll open up controller there and we're going to take all of this code here. We'll go delete this usings here so we don't need that anymore. And we'll take this whole entire class, cut that, go to the home controller here and let's just paste that there and then we'll just swap it for this one so we'll put this one back into the raspberry pi theme so we'll go ahead and cut that out and go back to our home controller there and we'll just add that there okay great and let's head back over to the home controller here and let's rename this to relay device and rename this to relay and for our bag we want relay Relay, change this to relay, change this to relay, and for action, we'll do relay on, relay, and do relay, and do a relay here. Okay, great. Oh, down here, we'll have relay, is relay on, okay. So let's go to our setup package here, and let's copy this using, and go back to the home controller, and let's paste it there, and hopefully all our warnings will go away. Well, we have this one. This should be relay supported, and this should be relay on and relay on. And if we had more code than this, it would have been easier to just do it a search and replace. It wasn't that bad, so let's just do it manually. Sometimes that's a little bit easier. Okay, now let's go to the index, and let's just take all this code here and cut this out here. And in the index here, let's just go ahead and paste it here. And for that, let's just edit, go to find, quick replace, and let's just call this, let's enter relay state, and let's just replace all. Okay, and let's also replace this, and we'll call that relay supported, and replace all those, just for instance. Okay, so now we have to make sure we replace this guy here, and this now will be orchard skills at orchardcore.raspberry pi here as well. And also we need to move those images up here, so we'll also need a folder, add new folder, and we need a www root, okay. And in the www root, we'll add another folder, image, and let's just take these two files and just move them under the image directory there. And let's go ahead and delete these. Okay, great. Let's go to our controller here and let's rename this to Relay Controller. This is no longer a home controller, it's going to be a Relay Controller. And we'll say yes. And so now all of this is refactored to a Relay Controller. So once we've done that, we've got to remember to go down to our startup.cs file here and this will be Relay. Of course, the controller here will be Relay. And if we want, we can just do Relay here. Hit save. Okay, in our views, we want to rename this home, rename this to Relay, and for our text here, 
change LED to relay and relay. Okay, great. Let's save everything. So let's go up here and run the application. Hit the green little triangle button. Okay, for our site name, we'll, we'll do Orchard Skills. And for a name, we'll put in our credentials. You click on Finish Setup. Okay, great. So now let's go and log in. Go into Sales. Go into our dashboard. Go to Configuration. Go to Features. And let's search for Raspberry Pi. Let's enable that. Okay, go back here to the application. Let's just select that. And now let's do slash relay. Hit Enter. And there we go. There's our relay. Turn on. Turn off. Turn on. Turn off. Great. Now let's try it on the Raspberry Pi. Booting Raspberry Pi. Okay, the Raspberry Pi up and running. Click on the browser. Go to orchardskills.com. Click on the GitHub. Click on repositories. Click on Raspberry Pi CMS module. Click on the code button. Copy the GitHub repository URL. Go to a terminal session. CD documents. CD GitHub. LS-LA. List all the files. Git clone. And paste. Copy that. CD space. Paste. And then LS-LA. List all files. CD. Copy that. Paste that. And go to cd orchard skills at orchard core dot cms ls sla and we want to copy this to add our source paste okay do a dot net build it built dot net run click on localhost 5000 enter site of orchard skills enter email enter password confirm password Hit the finish setup button. Okay, great. It's working. Log in. Hit the login button. Go to the dashboard. Click on configuration. Click on features. Search for Raspberry. Enable Raspberry Pi module. Go to localhost 5000 slash relay. There you go. It's working. Okay, we'll turn it on, turn relay on, turn relay off, turn relay on, turn relay off, turn relay on, turn relay off. To recap, we took an existing Orchard Core CMS web application with a custom Raspberry Pi theme and refactored the Internet of Things functionality into an Orchard Core CMS module. This modularity environment allows us to work on a separate part of the application and make this component reusable across projects. This is what makes the Orchard Core framework so extensible. Now, if you missed or didn't understand something, that's okay. There's a detailed blog post that describes all the steps. There is also a GitHub repository with the complete source code. All this information is in the video description. If you like this video, please click on the thumbs up icon. Also, please subscribe and click on the bell icon to get a notification when I release the next video. Thank you for watching.